This video is sponsored by Factory Managed Solutions. We provide DCS service for any size group, squadron, or air wing. You can find the link to their website in the description below. All footage in this video is recorded on a Fox3 server. Hello everybody, Hoist here from Street. Welcome to another video. And today we're in the F-16 Viper and we are kind of continuing on our um, space program series. We're going to see if it's better when you launch a missile for it to have more potential energy or more kinetic energy. Or is it better, you know, in other words, is it better for a missile to be faster at launch or launch from a higher altitude? So what we're going to do is we're going to get to 700 knots true airspeed and then we're going to go fully vertical, 90 degrees, and as soon as we're vertical we're going to launch and see how high the missile gets. Then we're going to do the same thing but we're going to climb at 90 degrees as high as possible and when we get to our maximum possible altitude, when we start stalling, then we're going to launch. And then we're going to do the same thing at about a 60 degree angle and we're going to compare the results. Alright, let's get started. Alrighty, we're at about 800 knots, so what we're going to do is we're going to disengage the autopilot now. And we're going to pull up as gently as we can so we don't black out. And as soon as we're at 90 degrees, we launch. All right, let's get ready. Ninety degrees. Eighty five degrees, that's not bad. But let's see how high it gets. Yeah, it's wobbly a little bit. That's what we always saw. Hundred and twenty thousand. So it's about a, a third of the way. A little bit over a third of the way. Two space, of course, that's what we're still looking at. 160,000. Yeah, it's wobbling all over the place now. 180,000. And it's coming up on 200,000. So another 130 to go. Two hundred twenty. Two hundred. Uh, it's not supersonic anymore. Yeah, two forty two. It's not going to go any higher than this. Two forty five. It's going to get 250. Yes, yeah, two, 250,000, and then it's going to start going down. There we go, that's as high as it got. 252,000. Alright, we're going to look at those results a little bit later. Now we're going to go straight into our second experiment, which is we're going to get as fast as possible and then we're going to go as high as possible to the maximum possible altitude until we stall and then we're going to launch. There we go, time to turn off the autopilot, get our missiles ready to launch and pulling up nice and slow. Don't want to lose too much speed doing this. We're losing quite a lot of speed already. Go 90 degrees. And looks like this is coming to a stall. There we go, Fox 3.
And let's see what happens now. 90,000. 100,000. Going all wobbly wobbly again. Hundred and forty thousand. Hundred and fifty. Yeah, this one's not gonna go as far. Doesn't seem like it. But I could be wrong. Come on. 190,000. It's 200,000, 205, okay. Two hundred fifteen thousand. Mm -hmm. Two hundred twenty-four. Not supersonic anymore. Two hundred twenty-five thousand. Two hundred thirty. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much as far as it's gonna go. Two thirty-three. Yep, 234, that's it. That's it. Alright, moving on now. Alrighty, that was a vertical test done. Now we're going to give it a try at an angle about 60 degrees. So autopilot off, and we are pretty fast already, so let's go up. Nice and gentle. We get about 60 degrees. Forty, sixty, box three. Yeah, it's yeah. We launched at sixty. It's going about seventy, seventy-two. Oh, it's increasing in pitch, but it's climbing. It's climbing. Yeah, it's going fully vertical now. 110,000, 125, 145,000, it's going up fast, but it all, speed's also dropping pretty quickly, 165, 175, come on, let's keep going some more. 190,000. Now we've got 200,000. Looks pretty spacey to me, but yeah. Alright, pitch is going. 220,000. Yeah, it's, it's losing speed pretty quickly. 230,000. Two hundred forty. Yeah, pitch is dropping. Not supersonic anymore. Two hundred fifty thousand. Yep, this is not gonna go very far. And it's dropping. Okay, and here comes the last part of our experiment, which is we're going to climb to about, well, until we stall, but we're going to do it at a 60 degree angle. We're just going to get a little bit faster, and then we're going to start climbing. Alright, I think we're good. Let's get started. Forty-five. There we go. 
60. Now let's climb as high as we can. And then we're going to launch as soon as we start stalling. Last 60, 65. Go, we're already getting very slow. Anyway, that was a stall and that's a launch through. And as we usually see, the missile went fully vertical as soon as we launched. Already coming up to 110,000. There we go, a little bit more, 130. 1500 knots, 150,000. Pitch going left and right, 170,000. Come on, a little bit more, 190,000. Still doing over a thousand knots, eleven hundred knots, but it's dropping quite quickly now. There we go, two hundred and ten thousand feet. Speed's dropping really quickly. Two hundred twenty thousand. It's about to go subsonic. Two hundred thirty thousand. Two hundred thirty-one. And it's subsonic. Two hundred forty thousand barely. And two hundred forty five. Yeah, it's not going to go much further. And there we go, it started dropping. Now that our experiments are done, let's have a look at the results. So the first one was we started at 30,000 feet at about 800 knots, and then we pitched up to 90 degrees, and as soon as we got vertical, we launched. Now the launch was at 41,780 feet at a speed of 318 knots indicated airspeed. And now that missile reached 252,644 feet. Second, we went vertical as well, full 90 degrees, started at 30,000 feet, but we pitched up, and then when we got vertical, we climbed until basically we started stalling. So, the launch was at 54,870 feet, at a speed of 123 knots, and that missile reached 234,407 feet, so not as high. So then the third... The third experiment was uh, we started same, 30,000 feet, 800 knots, and then we pitched up and got to about 60 degrees, and then we launched. Now, the launch was at 40,620 feet at a speed of 387 knots. That missile reached 252,911 feet. And then the last experiment was again, started 30,000 feet, pitched up, but then we climbed until we started um, stalling again. So the launch was at 60,270 feet, at a speed of 117 knots, and that missile reached 246,809 feet. So, what did we learn? We learned that the, you're going to get the best results if you pitch up at an angle, about 60 degrees, and then launch as soon as you get that, so that the missile has a higher starting speed. So, a higher velocity is better than a higher altitude. There we go, we learned something new today. Alright, so if you all enjoyed this video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you again in a future video. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.